The difference between PowerShell and DOS command prompt is that one is blue and the other one is black. Now you could get new technicality here since you can change the background color. All right, all right, I heard you loud and clear. Yes, you said, Grandpa, go make yourself a cup of tea and go to bed early. DOS is old school. No one uses that anymore. Show us something new. Show us PowerShell. All right, I got a PowerShell right here for you. Let's see how that works. Just like before, Windows run, and I'll type PowerShell. Press Enter, and I get nice big blue box. And now we're the similar command prompt, just like at MS-DOS. The only difference, this is a PowerShell. Let's type in some commands. First thing, as you remember, we went to our Z drive. Well, you can type Z colon the same way. You can also type DIR, which is similar to get child items command or LS command. They all will work the same. So don't need to worry about technicality here. What we're gonna do is type DIR and we're going to put dot. This is the directory we want to look for files in. And then we'll say, star.pst and there is nothing in here because we need to add minus r or dash r so that it's recursive so we're going through all the subfolders and we're getting all the files there let's make it look useful and add pipe select a full name and now you see we have directory list just like before the difference now is how do we redirect it to a file. Instead of greater than symbol, we'll use another pipe and we'll say export CSV file list dot CSV and we'll press enter. And again, the output gets redirected to a file which we'll be able to open in Excel. Well, let's take a look. And there we have it, a nice directory list. Now one quick trick I want to show you is I'm going to close this, say no, and go back to my PowerShell. And let's say we want to find all the files, not just PST. So if we do star.star, .star, we get something we don't want. we we'll also get directories or folders. Well, we don't necessarily want to see them in our, in our list. So you see they're right here. So let's, uh, let's eliminate those. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to say dash attributes and we'll say not directories and press enter. And now if we scroll back up, you see directories are no longer on the list. Now we have a clean list of just files. And while we're here, let me give you tip number two which is after select statement, you can add additional fields such as comma directory or other fields. You can Google for those yourself. You can get file size, you can get file attributes and all kinds of stuff, but you can list all the fields here and they'll come out nicely exported in a, C in a CSV format. And that's it. That's how you make a directory list using PowerShell. <laughs>